I'm talking to Professor Peter Crampton, who is the Pro Vice Chancellor of Health Sciences at Otago University, and also he is the Dean of the Medical School School at Otago. So welcome, Peter. Um, you're speaking this afternoon at the college conference on um, the rural new rural school. So tell us a little bit about that, because I won't be there, so it'd be nice to hear. Yeah. Yes, sure. Um, so look, we identify a problem, uh -huh. which is not a it's not a new problem to yeah. identify, it's yeah. a long-standing one, and that is the recruitment and retention of uh, all health professionals mm. within rural communities. Uh, yeah. That's the issue that we're concerned with. Yes. <clears throat> rural communities are important yeah. uh, for their inherent value of uh, the fabric of New Zealand society, but also because of the, uh, the contribution of rural communities to New Zealand's economy, which yeah. is huge. It's massive. If you're thinking yeah. agriculture, primary production, fisheries, mm. yeah. tourism, etc. Yeah. So that's the problem. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the proposed solution is a, a national collaborative school yeah. of rural health. Okay. And the in essence that means we're proposing initially ten hubs located within rural communities in mm. partnership with rural communities. Yep. And those hubs will be based around, initially at least, the rural hospital. They yeah. will have spokes. Yeah. And students from different health disciplines will have their training in those hubs. Yeah. The hubs will have employed within them local health professionals from different disciplines mm. who will have academic careers mm. uh, in the one of the partnership organizations contributing to the National School. Mm. Yeah. And the National School is a partnership between AUT Yep. Uh, Royal New Zealand College of DPs, uh, University of Auckland, yep. uh, the New Zealand Royal GP Network, University of Otago, those are the form formal partners so far. Uh -huh. yep. It's going to include other universities, polytechs, College of Midwives, yep. etc, etc, yep. as we uh, broaden the collaboration, which is mm. essential that we do that. Yep. That yep. is work to be done. Yep. Yep. Mm. I know um, I have some involvement with the Tyrafidi mm. Interprofessional mm. Education Programme, mm. and it sounds like this is a similar sort of thing, that it will be very interprofessional. Absolutely. Yep. Interprofessional education is at the heart of the educational model, yep. and the Tyrafidi Programme is one of the models on which you're building the, uh, the the national school oh, cool. concept. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Oh, that's good. And um, I know that um, the rural community is has a lot of GPs who are potentially going to retire in the near future. So, do you see this thing coming in very soon? We're ready to get go uh, get going in two thousand and eighteen. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, the, the moment the the, the the proposal is being um, scrutinised by our ministry colleagues, uh -huh. uh, yep. Tertiary Education Commission, Ministry of Health, Treasury, yeah. Yeah. officials are looking at it. Yeah. We're working with them to answer their queries yeah. and to provide further data when necessary. Yeah. We've said that we would like to kick off next year if we yeah. can. Yeah. And I know from a student point of view, if there's a hub of students in an area, it would make a difference to their enthusiasm about going into a small rural town. Yeah. Well, the international evidence and the New Zealand evidence is pretty clear. Yeah. One of the things that makes a difference is having students of whatever health discipline yeah. having a rich and positive learning experience yeah. in a rural community uh -huh. while they're training. Yeah. And and for even for the students who have an urban background, <clears throat> it opens their eyes to the opportunities of working in a smaller community mm. in a in a rural environment. Yeah. So yeah. we know that works. Yeah. It's not linear and no. it's not guaranteed no but it plants that seed yeah. and the evidence is that a higher proportion of those students are more likely to go back into a rural uh, environment at some point in their career yes. well this sounds like a great initiative and will cover a lot of areas that need to be probably improved and dealt with in the near future and um, hopefully it will get off the ground thank you for talking to us thank you yeah mm -hmm.